Hallelujah, in the Hallelujah. presence of our Lord. Don't you just appreciate it when someone is free? Yes. 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 <laughs> free indeed. When they're just free indeed. Don't you just appreciate Amen. that? Amen. Amen. See the power of God working in and through them, and we just appreciate I just like it when people are just honest, you know. Just mm -hmm. honest. No mm -hmm. errors, just mm -hmm. honest. And I give God so much praise for that. Thank you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your loving presence. We thank you for this holy people that you are expressing yourself in and through. Lord, we give you praise. Your presence is so glorious. Father, we thank you for every person assembled, every king and priest unto you. Dear Lord, we are gathered unto you to learn of you, dear Lord. And we pray by your spirit, Lord Jesus, that we will express you according to Father's Good pleasure. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you for a spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him. Thank you, dear Lord, for might and strength in our inner man, to know the hope of your calling. Such a rich inheritance you are, Christ Jesus, in us, your saints. It's a blessing, dear Lord, to learn of you and to express you. We thank you. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Well, we're looking at the rest that's found only in the Lord Jesus Christ. Found only in him. Amen. And we've been looking at the Sabbath miracles of Jesus. You see how the Lord has just been building, building, building. The day of atonement we started out with. And then we looked at on the 50th year, Jubilee. Hallelujah. And in the Jubilee, we thank God for the restoration that's found in the Jubilee. The Amen. rest that's found in the Jubilee. Christ Jesus all these things that we read about in scripture, they're fulfilled in him. They are fulfilled in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we've seen the miracles that Jesus has been doing on the Sabbath. And as Father guided him, he only did what Father told him to do. So as the Father guided him, what he did was an expression, <clears throat> an expression of kingdom power right in our midst. Everyone we've seen, haven't we seen it? just unveils so beautifully mm -hmm. what Jesus has done for us and as us. Just an expression of God's heart toward his people. Mm -hmm. And we note that the miracles that we've looked at, we found them in uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. But I want you to know that there are two miracles performed on the Sabbath day that only John's gospel captures. That's quite interesting to me. Mm -hmm. In light of the fact that John's gospel centers on Christ's deity. Amen. Amen. See that? Yes. Now, if you don't mind, go with me today to John's gospel chapter 5. The Lord's going to help us. I promise you, on the other side of it, you're going to be blessed. John's gospel chapter 5. Now, sometimes scriptures will say... Um, We'll, we'll call this man uh, the lame man, healing of the lame man. But you but got to be careful with that because you might miss something. And just by saying it's a lame, lame, there's a reason he can't walk. You ever seen somebody so sick? They actually can walk, but they're so sick they can't walk. You right. see, that's a difference. Mm -hmm. And we need to get to the root cause of this. And this is what John's gospel is going to show us. What it just simply means this man, he, he just didn't have the power or the ability to, eat, to improve or change his situation. <clears throat> now, bring that home spiritually today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bring that home spiritually today. Look how many people are in positions where they're just stuck. They love God. They want to please the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. They want to please the Lord. But they, they don't have the power <clears throat> or the ability to change or improve the situation that they're in. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Most of us can relate to that. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. So let's begin our reading then with John chapter 5, just the first few verses. Praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 5, and we'll start with verse 1. Mm -hmm. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, 
which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. And in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind and halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Mm. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, <clears throat> after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever diseases he had. Now, let's kind of stop for a minute. Look at, look at what's happening. Instead of reading or calling words in our minds, look at what's happening. If he stepped in, if someone was diseased and was the first, first to step in, they entered in. Y'all hear God say it? We said that way that kind of makes us listen a little differently. That, listen, the water speaking to us, we already heard from so wonderfully in the teaching, on, um, that the water speaks to the word. Mm -hmm. You hear that? So in a, a season, not all the time a season, an angel comes in and troubles. See, this, <clears throat> this is what happens in ministries like these. Mm -hmm. not, not, not for myself, but what Christ is doing in the midst of us. Mm -hmm. that, see, this troubling actually speaks to an inward commotion. Mm -hmm. I, we've seen it year after year, mm -hmm. to trouble, inward commotion. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. I, it, it may all sound so good on the surface, but after a while, it's going to work in us. There's some things that, hallelujah, no matter who we are, that are not going to quite line up with the Christ. God means us good and not evil all the days of our life. So that there's going to be a commotion inward. You see that right there? There's going to be something, this also means this troubling, it takes away the calmness of the mind. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. Adam is very happy when you don't bother him. Mm -hmm. Total equanimity. Right. Yeah. But you start preaching Christ and that calmness of Adam's mind goes, mm -hmm. you know, right. that's this, this agitation. Yeah. It's just totally disturbed. You mm -hmm. see that? So then, it says, let's go back and, and, and continue to look at at what we, we saw there. Say it at verse 4 particularly. An angel. That's a messenger. Yeah. A messenger family. Yes, went down at a certain season into the pool. And troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in. If you enter in to where God brings us. Listen. When, when heaven invades that earthy. If you just enter into that, you'll be changed forever. Right. Forever healed. Amen. You see that? Right. Hallelujah. It says, after the troubling of the water stepped in and was made. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. Was made whole. That Listen, that's, that means become. That's creative power going forth. We remember we talked about, we don't realize what the Spirit is doing. If I just stood up here and told you, just, just, just said, just these six steps. We were, we were crucified with Christ, died with Christ, buried with Him, quickened, raised, and seated. The Spirit, the Spirit of God, is moving upon them. Right. You see that? That's the true word of God. Amen. You turn on the back of your bulletin and, and thank God you don't find stuff like like sick and shut in. You will see the steps to this throne and what God is saying. Bless Amen. His holy name. Because if anybody is dealing with something, we know it, it's just for a moment. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So you see that, that we see the creative power moving in this. That's why I just can't tell the story. Now, if he's whole, the word is not just restored to health, but it's a higher word, family. It means sound. Sound. Endure, you ever heard scripture like endure sound? They want to endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. People just want you to tell them something. Right. <laughs> right. Well, when I had a few words, came back home, went eat, went home. Right. See that? Mm -hmm. But see the difference, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, he said it was made whole of whatsoever mm -hmm. disease he had. Now, this is where I need your attention, if you don't mind. It won't be before you long. Mm -hmm. The word disease here, although it's found many times in mm -hmm. 
the scripture right here, this word, the particular word that's used for disease is found only one time, and it's right here. Mm. Mm. That makes me want to hear what God got to say right. when I'm studying my word like this. Right. He's got something to say to us. Bless his holy name. See, see how much higher this goes? It's not the first time we talked about the impotent man in this ministry. But you see, it's, it's precept upon precept. God knows where we are now, and he's taking us higher, a step up, and then we got to tread that out. We're not just learning something to sit and stay in the same position. We're talking about growing up into the measure, the stature, the fullness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing less than that, bless his holy name. Amen. Now, I need to show you something about this word disease as used. Here, because it has a root meaning. And even the root meaning is only used one time. Mm -hmm. Only one time. Now, I need us to hold something there at, at John chapter 5. We'll be back in a little bit. But we want to go over to 1 Timothy chapter 6, if you will, please. 1 Timothy chapter 6. Paul's giving this... Um, Student of the word here, some instruction, and it's good for us to, to note it. Now, I know some of us may have different translations. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, now, I'll read something to you. Verse 1, and I'll show you where we're going to find this word. Verse 1 of 1 Timothy chapter 6, let as many servants as are under the yoke, your Bible might say slaves, or might say bond servants. You hear that? Count their own masters worthy of all honor. Why? That the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. Mm -hmm. yep. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved and partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. We're going to go back and look at this later. Now this, like we'll see later, this absolutely, when I'm, when I'm speaking here, look beyond the institution of slavery mm -hmm. as we know it. Mm -hmm. this, is not talking, this is not like this. You see, right. what, like this? Let me show you something in a minute. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. Listen, listen to what I say now. He is proud, knowing nothing but doting. You see that word doting in Hebrew? Over in the Amplified Bible, it'll say morbid of uh, 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 interest in something. Mm -hmm. See, like that. See that? But you see that word doting? That's the, that's the root meaning that we that is for that one-time use of the word disease. Mm. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Listen, what it's doing though, what it's doting about? Questions and strifes of words. Mm. Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, Supposing that gain is godliness. Now, I'm just reading the scripture, but you can put this right in the heart of most judges today. You hear this? Mm -hmm. From such, what is the instruction? Withdraw thyself. Mm -hmm. See that? We just, we just, we just going to read up there for the time being because I want to speak to what is being said here. Let's go back up to, to verse 1. Let as many... See, something here, the... The, the doting, the interests of the mind are not where they should be. And as a result, you're seeing over in John chapter 5, sickness that has so, a person so embroiled, not just a person, people so embroiled in this lack of truth, but words of men that they can't even just voluntarily get in for help is. Right, right. They have to be helped in. Now somebody here got because we need the Holy Ghost. Right. See this right here? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Again, let as many, I said this way, bond servants, slaves, whatever you want to say, and I know you, that I know you, count their masters worthy of all honor so that the name of God and his doctrine 
may not be blasphemed. Now, like I said, it's not an ap approval of the institution of slavery, but the thing is what? So that God will be glorified. Yeah. Amen. You see this? Amen. So let's bring it home to where we are today. Let me ask you something. How many of, don't answer me, but just have to ask. <laughs> How many of us in this life, you work for somebody? Especially if you're on a contract. Didn't that make you yoked with somebody? Right. Mm -hmm. If it did not concern, if you're a believer and there's a contract and you, you didn't, it didn't yoke you up, did you, did you agree to do what you said you do? Right. You see, I'm talking about bringing this home every day so we can see that we don't set this life aside on Sunday, but that this very power will take us from everlasting to everlasting. And I promise you this. Glory to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. See this? So then, what we should be doing, <coughs> even then, in our jobs, day to day, no matter what setting you're in, no matter what setting, Bishop Paul and I retire from the workforce, but we still mm -hmm. have a labor of love going on. But right. the scripture said, like Sarah called Abram Lord. Mm -hmm. he, he, hallelujah. He's Lord of that house. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. We got to understand, we got to understand some, I'm just talking about relationships here, so we'll see how God will be glorified in a situation. Right. That's his holy name. Mm -hmm. So, listen, a career or any occupation that may look the same, so I can bring it where we can understand it. Now, as believers, we do a great job no matter the situation. Some mm -hmm. people want to say, well, my boss is is not saved, or my supervisor, that's all the more reason, according to what we just read, right. that we ought to be doing a great job right. for them. So that what God is glorifying. Right. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying some things. No, no, matter, no matter who is over us, it's going to bring honor unto God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You ever seen people, and you work with people, and they say the first thing they want you to know is that they're a Christian. They have poor work habits. Poor attitudes, flash back, flash points. You see what I'm saying? Get gets to get real angry at, real, very easily, and that brings shame on the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you that this 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 God means that us this to be our daily walk. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Right. I remember years ago when this ministry first started, a sister came to us and she had come out of a a, a, a group that was so harsh and just. So it was just a bad experience for her. And she said, hello. I said, well, come on in. You're very welcome. I said, we love you here just like that. She said, you know, she told me one day to the side. She said, you know, when you said you loved me, that scared me. I have never forgotten that. I'll never forget that as long as I live. You're talking about something that is just terrible. That somebody would be scared to hear the word love mm -hmm. in the house of prayer. Yes. Amen. <laughs> See this? Thank you, Lord Jesus. When you profess you're a Christian, then your behavior is really going to be magnified. Right. People are looking for answers. I don't care who they are. The supervisor, your co-worker, no matter who it is, they are looking for the answer. Right. They'll say they're looking for answers, but they really need the answer, which is found only in Christ Jesus the Lord. Colossians and, and Ephesians have a, a scripture that will help us a little bit with this. I'll just read it to you, but give you the number. Colossians 3, 22 and, th and 20 through 24 says, Service obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service. Look, as long as, as, as the, the supervisor's around, you're working so hard as soon as they turn the back. I remember when I used to be a military, you hear somebody, oh, yeah, come cheap bottle. Because they know if they weren't doing anything, they needed to be doing something. You see that? You know, that's, not, that's what this is talking about right here. See that? As men pleasers, but in sincerity of heart. This whole thing, no matter what situation we're in, we should be fearing God. Yeah. Right. Amen. Fearing God. Respect. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. It's not to, listen, it's not to men. Amen. See that? Yes. In a position, Bishop Paul would tell you, even in younger years in the military, the, uh, the, the Lord, I had been in a position that affected policy. For a whole base. You see that? And was adopted by other 
other people do. You do it as unto the Lord, right. not unto men. Right. I saw where it could be made a lot better for soldiers mm -hmm. instead of what they were doing. Right. You see that? And thank God for a, a commander that accepted that. Right. See that? Mm -hmm. You see, not to men, knowing that from the Lord, you will receive what? The reward of the inheritance. For you serve, it doesn't, keep, doesn't matter this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You serve the Lord Christ, don't you? The Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Always remember who the true boss is. Right, right. See that? Amen. So if you remember who the true boss is, our best efforts always going forward. Now, I'm not the kind of person that want to sound self-righteous. I'm just giving you, I found out over years, if I talk about me, then I'll stay out of trouble. I'll tell you what somebody else told me. I'll tell you what I have experienced. You see that? Right. Not that it was so good to me. There were sometimes when people just, I wanted to throw them out the window, but I couldn't. But you, right. you see what I'm saying? Not saying that they're like that all the time. Right. But I'm just using the excuse how the Lord will help us when we do what we're supposed to do. Right. Glory right. to God. This whole thing is so that the name of God and his doctrine may not be blasphemed. That's what we just read. Amen. See that? Yes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So, another thing is, when I said, the, note that people are watching our behavior. Right. People in church rarely read their Bibles. Right. So that person that is looking to us <clears throat> outside, mm -hmm. no matter what situation is it, it's in, you, you may be the only scripture they get. Mm -hmm. You see that? Right, Living epistles. Mm -hmm. Red right, men. Don't forget yeah. about that. Right. Hallelujah. So it's always a question. Is, is what I'm doing, will that draw somebody to Jesus? Amen. Or will it repel them? Right. And see, the problem with that is, if somebody is turned off, and they were really looking, it's like, well, well, they just, they, Bishop Paul can be a witness to this. Mm -hmm. Look, you turn it on. When y'all get through playing church, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. That's his attitude. We went we to church and they, and they just were, were playing church. See, I was a little bit different. I take no sits and try to make some out of it. I want you to listen to him. He does not know when it, when it gets right. See that? Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Verse 2 again from 1 Timothy 6. It says, And those who have believing masters, let them not despise them because, listen, they are brethren. But rather serve them because. Those who are benefited are believers and beloved. Teach, listen, teach and exhort these things. See that? Just because the leader is a Christian, that doesn't mean slack off on the person. Right. Amen. See that? I'm going to tell you, you can change some people. Yes, Lord. I remember God being so gracious. We had a, a, a commander once, and it was just really the... The, the, the team spirit was just really morale. All that was just, just down because of one individual. Wow. And I was just sitting there one day, and I looked at him. And it's like the Lord spoke to my heart. He's afraid. Mm. He's afraid. Mm. He's afraid. Right. So, well, it was just my nature because I'm hyper. I was never a person that just sit there and not do anything. Mm -hmm. But I always just... Do that which was excellent. Next thing I know, listen, listen. Bishop Paul, tell you, I come and tell him. You write your own rating, whatever you want. Right. I'll sign it. See, the, hear the difference in that? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. What, uh, what, what do you want to, what are you looking for to, what, whatever you want to right. do? You just write it. Right. I'll, I'll sign it. Yeah, I remember that. See that? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I remember that. See that? Mm -hmm. Kind of like Joseph. In prison, but running things. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear God? Yeah. We, we got to understand that we got to get a wonderful exhortation yeah. and teaching. We got to realize what he said. Yes, right. And the power that's behind what the Lord has said. Bless his holy name. Right. Lord. And I would just always be cognizant of that our lives, that ministry doesn't stop. Right. Wherever, right. wherever we are. Glory right. to God. That's right. So, this, listen, when we teach and and, and exhort these things, what we saw over here, that we, we see then that, that when they're doting about things that don't matter and all those things that work against us, that's disease. Mm -hmm. Many Christians are helping people stay sick mm -hmm. just because they're not within the confines of their ministries. Mm -hmm. But that's where the, the work is really needed. Don't help somebody stay sick. 
this misery loves company, tell somebody the word of God. Tell somebody the truth. You see what I'm saying? And you don't have to come across, um, you know, like all, all religious and, and self-righteous. What I'm trying to say is, listen, if you can be supervised, God will move for you like the, like the, the centurion. I'm, I'm under authority. I know what that means. And I know who you are. Mm. All you got to do is just speak. Yeah. Mm. I serve to be healed. Right. See that? Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do is just speak. Because yeah. whatever's bothering him, mm -hmm. it's under your authority. Right. Christ Jesus, somebody hear the Lord. Right. Act like these things we go through, too big for him. And it's not too big for him. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So when we teach and exhort the things, what those in verses 1 and 2 up there, see, see that? If we teach otherwise, you're not telling them, listen, honor those. Listen, honor, honor your masters, mm -hmm. your bosses, mm -hmm. your supervisors, mm -hmm. your husband. Mm -hmm. See that? Children, your parents, whatever. Mm -hmm. See that? Glory to God. And, and on and on, no matter what the situation is. Right. Yep. See that? Yep. Praise the name of the Lord. I was teasing uh, Bishop Paul yesterday. <laughs> I, said, I said, you owe me B. I've been keeping tabs since January. I said, this is the first quarter. You owe me big. Every time I, I serve a meal, I'll just I say something like 15 bucks and you give me 25% chip like that. Just a little thing we teased on. I said, well, you owe me all kind of money. Now, so you know what he said? I told him yesterday. He said, um, go and get the checkbook and I'll write you a check. Like it's your own money. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> it's our money, so it's your own money. Right. See what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I'm just saying no matter what situation, it, it's it's in. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. Let just let we let God be true, bless His holy name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just a little, just a little fun there. Mm -hmm. So then we see that what then this disease affects the mind and it renders one lame. Mm -hmm. See that? Look at these things again before we go back over to John five. Proud, not knowing but doting about questions and mm -hmm. strifes of words, whereof coming envy, is that for Christ? Mm -hmm. Strife, mm -hmm. railings, evil surmisings, that's not coming from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, that's making people sick. Do you know people in some ministries are arguing over doctrine? Right. We should be doing this and should be doing that. Why don't everybody just, just wait, feel, be filled with the Spirit right. and let the Holy right. Spirit show us from the Word? Right. But godliness with contentment, it goes on to say in verse 6, is great gain. See that? So then, we go back then. You may be saying, well, Sister Bottom, how in the world are you tying that in? I hope I know you see. But anyway, we're going back to John 5 to finish up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. John chapter 5, it says, 5 and 5. Let's start there. It reads, and a certain man was there. Now we know we said at the pool, the angel would trouble the water. Now we see spiritually what that means. See that? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, and a certain man was there, which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Mm -hmm. Listen, infirmity is that this, a fixed position plus weakness. You need those two words to tell you what infirmity means right here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that sad? Mm -hmm. A fixed position mm -hmm. and sick. Mm -hmm. See that? <laughs> Weak. Remember Psalm, Psalm 105, 37. It said, the Lord brought them forth with silver and gold and with the feeble one among their tribes. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. See, that's what we're saying here. When we're just trying to keep you on spiritual ground, mm -hmm. That's all we're trying to do. Keep you on spiritual ground, and then we'll be certain that you won't fall when it comes to the things of this earth, right. this world. Keep you in that place in Christ Jesus. Right. Bless his holy name. So listen to this now. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, he just asked a question, wilt thou be made whole? Listen, the word whole is that word sound again? Mm -hmm. Remember? Yes. Would that be made whole? In other words, do you want some teaching that won't deviate from the truth? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 See that? Y'all yeah. yeah. hear God? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. The eminent man answered him, Sir, I have no man 
It's the best thing you can say. Yes. Y'all hear God? Yes. I have no man, because yes. man can help you with this. Yes. That's why you're in the shape you're in now. Right. Man surmisings and all that stuff like that. Yes. I have no man, look now, when the water is troubled, to put me in the pool. But while I'm coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus said unto him, this symbol, rise up, take thy bed, and walk. This word walk here, that don't mean take your bed and walk around town and share about what you can do. Mm. This word, you see that banner back there walking in the spirit? Yes, mm. Lord. Yes, Lord. That's a lifestyle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Take up thy, listen, take up thy bed and walk. Listen, look, immediately it says, the man was made whole. Mm -hmm. All you need. Now, see, this is the difference in what I'm trying to get people to hear. You've been, ha you had a messenger that troubled the water. Yeah. That's it. Now you've got the chief messenger yep. who Christ yeah. Jesus is. Yeah. So you don't just get word. Yeah. You get the spirit of the word. All that the word can do, yeah. you get that all in one with Jesus. Yeah. You see that right there? Yes, Lord. That's what makes him whole. Yeah. You, get him, you get him to say, rise, take up thy bed and walk, and you're going to do it. Right. You see, that's just that simple. That's why we teach the spirit of the word. Yes, Lord. That's why we, we, we look at the scriptures and ask God, what is the present truth? What are you saying for us now? Mm -hmm. You don't need to come here today and hear a story about, well, there was a man and, and he, nobody was there to help him get in. That's how I've heard it. And then one day Jesus came. Well, what does that mean to have been a present Amen. truth to people that's looking right. unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith? Yes. What does that mean, glory to God? Amen. We need Amen. the spirit of the word to show yes, us that. Yes, and immediately the man was made whole. See that? I heard what well, I told you again and again and again over the years. When I heard my pastor, God rest his soul, and I heard him preach this gospel of Jesus Christ, I told you I have to look anywhere else. Anywhere else. It used to be back then you didn't have these computers like you do now. And on, if on a Saturday... Where you would find me on Fort Hood would be in the library in the reference section. Mm -hmm. Look at studying religion. Trying to understand this stuff. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Heard my pastor preach Christ and him crucified and what that means to me. Mm -hmm. I was home. Mm -hmm. One time mm -hmm. I was home. Mm -hmm. Spirit. Home. Glory to God. I was made whole. Right. Made whole. Made whole. Made whole. See when you get that truth you continue then to go into yes. the fullness of him. Amen. You see that? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see that? Yes. See, like I said about these uh, miracles in John, you see this impotent man, hallelujah, and he's healed from his disease and is able to live a lifestyle now because of Jesus' touch. There's one more miracle, hallelujah, where you're going to see somebody that was, was born blind. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody fix that but God. Amen. Can't no man help us with that. We need eyes of the Spirit yes. so we can Amen. see what it is and ears to hear. Yes. So we'll hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So last verse then. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Praise God for this position of rest. Yes. We, we, we need to camp here. Yes. The position of rest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, if you keep reading, you'll see that people get very agitated. Religion is upset now. You know why? Not rejoicing because somebody's delivered. Not rejoicing because somebody's delivered. But because you're carrying your bed mm -hmm. on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Didn't mind you laying there helpless. Mm. Don't know about, it always passed over, mm -hmm. trying to get, trying to find out who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. You don't mind that. You still, we'll still count your name on the rolls, and right. when they, when they give you stuff, people walk by and give you arms. Be sure and give some in there, but we don't care about that now. But what we do care about is you dishonoring the Sabbath day, right? Because of, of religious reasons. Right. Amen. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. The scriptures teach us the Sabbath was made for man. That's right. And I praise God that he's brought us into his rest. Right. May the Lord bless you Amen. and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. And I hope this has edified you. Yes, Lord. Blessed be the name yes, of the Lord. Lord. Yes, 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 Lord.
Simplicity that's found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Simple yes. enough. Yes. Simple enough, isn't it? 